It's not a shame to move back. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I will show you some very interesting game that played 18 years ago. Can you believe it? I was only eight years old when I played this particular game, you know, against Daniel Barak. It was in 18 of December 2006. My opponent has like rating of 1721 while I had 1857 and you know it's very special game for me I really want to show to you something it will be very very um, you know short video so don't go anywhere finished it and I'm, I promise that you will learn something also in the chessboard and also for your life so the game was started like d4 knight f6 c4 c5 uh, I played a lot of years this opening the Volga d5 and b5 the point is that black uh, is providing a pawn uh, in the b file and would like to play the move g6 bishop g7 a6 and castle d6 knight bd7 queen b6 rook fb8 and with two these two rooks um, to attack in these uh, files a file and b5 uh, let me show you some lines c takes b5 a6 I don't know, for example, take um, g6, knight c3, bishop takes a6, knight f3, d6, e4 takes, takes, bishop g7, g3, castle, king g2. Now, for example, knight a6, knight d7, queen b6, rook fb8, and black is trying to play in the queen side with maybe c4, knight dc5, knight b4, d3. But white is, is you know, telling, you know what, I have one pawn up, everything is clear that I will win the game. And there is no initiative, initiative is only a word. And that's it. So, you know, in high level, it's not a very good opening uh, nowadays. But I must say that for beginners, I think it's very, very interesting to play. I played it like from age of five, I think, until age of maybe 12. So yeah, I played against very strong players in this uh, opening. It's quite interesting to play. So. My opponent played the move b3 here, he didn't uh, take the b5 pawn and I, I'll probably just b takes c4, b takes c4, g6, bishop b2, bishop g7 and it seems like black is totally fine, d6, castle, queen b6, bishop f5, knight bd7, this b file will be very weak for, for white, so yeah, I didn't play it, uh, you know, my excuse uh, is that I was only 8 years old. I play the move d6, g3, g6, bishop b2, bishop g7, bishop g2, castle, knight f3. Now I took the pawn, b takes c4, and now I play the move bishop a6. The pawn on c4 is weak, and now white is playing the move knight bd2, of course, defending the pawn and also developing his knight. And now I really want you to stop the video and think by yourself, which move do you want here to play with the black pieces okay so i will give you three two one and we are coming back here so my move was very unusual i think you know probably the first move that you thought about uh, was knight bd7 just developing another knight maybe want to play the move rook b8 knight b6 to attack this c4 pawn and i i must tell you guys that it looks very nice but I played after knight bd2, very unusual move. I played a move bishop to c8. And of course, the computer will not, uh, you know, agree with me that this move is a good move. Um, but for me, I must admit, it will be just fantastic, right? Because the bishop on a6 is doing nothing. Of course, he's attacking the c4 pawn, but for example, knight bd7, I don't know, castle, uh, rook b8, bishop c3, knight b6, rook c1, 
the c4 pawn will not be um, you know weak because bishop a1 knight c4 of course is not good move because knight takes bishop takes and bishop f6 and the bishop is under attack here so white will take a, a piece of course so after knight bd2 right yeah in this position for example knight bd7 yeah rook b8 bishop c3 knight b6 just rook c1 and the point point is, is that just bishop on a6 for me at least maybe you're not agree with me but is not doing so much work and I feel like is not in an open diagonal our bishops should be in an open diagonal right as this bishop on g7 uh, will be in the open diagonal this bishop on a6 is really uh, in closed diagonal so I played the move bishop to c8 and yeah I'm uh, for me it's a brilliant move because it's not so simple to play uh, such move the last move was bishop a6 90 bd2 and now coming back to admit your mistake and to say okay i move back because i understand the bishop on a6 is doing nothing and i want him in a you know open diagonal and um, so castle was playing 90 bd7 queen c2 rook b8 e4 and now my opponent just blundered this uh, rook takes b2 queen takes b2 knight takes c4 and of course this position it's already a winning position for black because I'm a pawn up, knight f6 was played, rook e8, and now queen a5, developing a queen, developing a bishop, of course, the bishop is coming to f5, knight d7, just exchanging the bishops, and now queen takes d2, of course, queen takes knight f3, taking the queen, take the c4, and knight b6, and yeah, my opponent resigned after the move c4, but you know, overall, it's a very short video. But I really want you to think about one thing. In chess and also in life, you are doing mistakes. No one is perfect, right? And I think the most important thing in life is also the ability to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, or I made a mistake. Let's uh, admit it and solve it. And I think overall, maybe it was not the best move to come back with bishop to c8, but in psychological point of view, it was a brilliant one because it's very important to know, evaluate if your move was good, if what you said to your friend was nice, uh, or if you behave fine with your family or with your parents. So. It's very, you know, to conclusion, I really want you to think about it, right? Because you, all of you are um, living uh, in this world and it's very important to know to stop and think if you did it right. So I really hope you enjoy this video and take something from your li for your life and also for your chest life. So don't forget click the like button and also subscribe my channel. See you soon in the next video. Bye bye.